So today I'm reviewing Vistaprint's website builder and my first impression is oh my gosh what Vistaprint you have a website builder that's crazy because I just think of them like right here this is their opening slide of being a print provider not a you know online marketing provider so um, you know you can see here they have lots of stuff regarding print and then we get over here to websites and it's not just websites it's websites and internet marketing tools so you can see we're at the websites and internet marketing section and it goes through all sorts of things that they have to help the small business um, market themselves online which is really cool um, if I go just to the website part here's where I start to get a little concerned and what I have seen as I've reviewed these website builders is that if you are a company and you offer a lot of other products you know like website builders in general they they're they're offering you without making a big deal about it if they're just a website builder they're usually offering well they are offering you hosting because your website has to be somewhere that's hosting a website and um, they're typically able to sell you a domain that's what I've seen too then you get into other providers that really make a point of saying hey we have all sorts of other things like we have Facebook and we have all you know we have shopping carts a dedicated shopping cart app not just integrating someone else's shopping cart into our website builder um, there's just a ton of things that other companies do and when they are not solely focused on their website builder the majority of these companies have a tendency to forget to really market the website builder to really let you know that they've thought it out and perhaps that's because they haven't thought it out and um, so that's my 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 worry my thought my my big question here as I go into looking at this website builder is you know how much have they done I don't know so um, you know because when I scroll down I mean this is the page dedicated to their website builder pretty much that's it so you know I start to get those familiar uh, thoughts and feelings about oh so this is just a small little facet how good is the tool going to be if that's the case um, what I have learned is that it is not industry specific you can search for your uh, designs through you know through industry names so maybe your you know services or whatever and they're gonna break down their template designs by that by different industries but you can definitely customize any one of their templates to do you know to be appropriate for any type of business which is great um, their pricing they have three tiers of pricing and they do give you a 30-day trial which I'm always a big fan of because you know it's very disquieting to just say okay no matter what I'm gonna pay you guys something what if you really hate the tool and you're gonna know that you dislike a tool probably within a week of using it and because that's when you're gonna dive in you know you got the tool you're all excited you're gonna typically work on it like right there and what if after a week into it you, it doesn't make sense to you it doesn't matter how great of a reputation they have if, if, if it's too much of a learning curve it's taking you too long um, whatever you just you don't like the designs whatever the case may be you want to be able to get out of that so at least here we know they are offering a 30-day trial they probably like most places collect your credit card at the beginning but you know you've got 30 days to cancel Vistaprint has a really good you know reputation online and my guess is it's not a problem at all to cancel after that they have a four ninety nine so think five dollars and a twenty four ninety nine tier think twenty five dollars and then a middle one which I think is around sixteen ish so sixteen seventeen so those are all decent prices the thing that I love about their um, their pricing tiers here is oh it's it's gonna say get started by the way and then from there you you'll think oh I've got to put some stuff in to see that but really you can continue as a guest and not have to put anything in which is really nice because I don't want to put anything in right now I don't know if I want to know more and here's your tiers so oh I said 16 I'm wrong that middle one is a $15 tier what's super cool about them is that they're willing to give you unlimited pages even for the basic 
a tier, which is really awesome because so many of them that have been reviewing lately are limiting you to five or ten pages. And you know what? If you're not going to use your website as an online marketing tool, it's a brochure, people who know your domain or know your business name, you know, you want them to find you, but really you're not using it as a tool where people who don't know about you might actually, you know, happen upon you through just searching for, you know, florist or whatever. A five page site isn't going to cut it, nor is a ten page site. And for those of you who really want to use your the website as a online marketing tool, you're going to have to have a lot of content. So even a fifty page site for the basic, you will get in your way if you actually put that kind of content up there. Though fifty for a basic tier is definitely better than five or ten, which is the vast majority of tools I've been looking at lately. So this is super exciting, unlimited. Also they do have a blog and and they have that blog available even to the basic customer and that is awesome so I'm very excited about all of that mobile they have it and you don't have to like do any work to make the mobile um, the mobile player work uh, where is it or the mobile version of the site work it's one of these there it is so they're limiting that to the middle tier and the higher end tier I don't think every single website out there necessarily has to have a mobile version depending on what it is, but it is becoming more and more the expected thing. So whether it's really necessary or not, it's becoming the expected thing. <laughs> and when it becomes more and more expected, then you kind of have to have it just out of public perception. So. We're in that area right now where if you don't have a super mobile friendly site, it's still okay, but wouldn't it be nice to have that option? And you do have the option, and that's what I like to see in a website builder is if it's not available to the basic, you know, uh, package, can you get it? And you can, and you really only have to go up to the standard, the mid-tier, which is going to be a $10 a month jump for you, but if it's that important, you know, $10 a month more, you know isn't the end of the world also they do have a search engine submission tool that comes with that and frankly if I was going to pay ten dollars more a month I might investigate that tool though um, you don't really need to have a formal search engine submission tool and I'll carry on about that in another uh, video um, though it is there it's an option so um, um, the next thing that I look at is um, in what browser does the website builder work? Most website builders don't say. These guys specifically say Internet Explorer and Firefox. Good to know. Now they're not referencing the website it creates. They're referencing um, the uh, website interface itself. So that's fine. The builder itself is just best used in Internet Explorer and Firefox. It works on PC or Mac. Um, then search engine optimization so I talked a little bit about already the thing that they're not clear about on here is if you can put in your own meta information people really need to be stating this because some website builders won't let you and some limited on the tier so really if we're comparing things that's a really important feature even if you just have a five or ten page site so they don't say that so I can't give them points for that though they do give you the search engine submission then they have this other optimizer thing um, but I just I just don't know <laughs> I don't know what you get for the for all of them if you what what happens is it dynamically generated is it not generated at all Oh, Vistaprint, please let me know this. Anyway, I can't give them credit for that because I don't know. But as I mentioned, the thing, um, you know, they have the blogging, which is awesome. So we're good there, and that's going to help you even if you didn't optimize stuff. Just having lots of content that revolves around your business from your unique perspective, you can still do that with the blog, and that's great. But mm, I don't know about meta tags and things like that. I will talk about those at another time. Ease of use, they do have a video somewhere in their material that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea um, about how the website builder actually works. And um, it looks reasonably okay. It's not drag and drop. Um, and uh, it's, I think the video, I'm not going to play it right now, but it's right here. If you just click it, it'll show you a little bit. It's like you know, two or three minutes long. You know, it looks okay. Um, 
it doesn't look like this, like that sample website right there. It looks pretty freaking amazing. And the thing that they're showing you doesn't look like that, but um, it does look okay to use. Um, since I haven't actually clicked on it, I can't speak too much to it. And I, you know, I don't have an extended demo on it, but it doesn't look terribly complicated. Um, it, I don't think I got the impression that it was drag and drop either. So if you're into that kind of thing where you can put things anywhere you want, I don't think this is your tool. Um, let's see. So with that being said, uh, I think it looks like, see, there you go. You get some of your stuff up here and, and it looks relatively, you know, easy to use. Uh, stats. They they do say that they have website stats. They don't say if they are Google Analytics friendly or not. So that's a bit of, of an issue for me. I always carry on about the ability to put in your own third-party tracker code. Otherwise, you kind of stay tied to them if you want the historical data, if you were to go to a different provider. So that's my soapbox on that, and I think it's really important. Um, let's see. Uh, other than that, you know, after digging around, these guys actually do a really nice job with their website builder in comparison to what other companies are doing that aren't dedicated just to the website builder. So they definitely get higher marks than some of those other companies for a lot of things. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I have seen better, but, you know, because of the SEO stuff. Um, but really, this is pretty promising and um, it might make it into the next tier of my reviews. So pretty exciting. Nice work.